Bees recognize as certain colors and certain shapes. For H.S. Green, everything is always a buzz. We never wear dark colors, especially black. The females are called workers. He has more than 40 beehives here. The males are called drones. At his Hidden Happiness Bee Farm in Wilkes County. We're going to the classroom. But that's not all. Yes, there's somewhere between 12 and 15,000 bees in here right now. There's four frames on each side. The thing about them, you have to learn to manage them. But also, if you don't have a labor of love, you're not going to be a good beekeeper. One queen per colony. Here, he's created a visitor center that's swarming with everything bees. When I designed this thing, I looked and thought, well, how am I going to fix something for everybody? Here, you can get up close and personal with all of his worker bees, drones, and of course the queen. She's somewhere in there. I'm going to guess she will be somewhere behind here in the center. You got a favorite? The center has everything a beekeeper and honey lover could ever need. Lip balms, candles. We have the smokers there that you see. That is what we call combed honey. From Beeville, his country store, to a honey tasting bar. I'll try not to waste a drop. The walls are adorned in beautiful honey architecture. This is where we hold our bee teaching classes. And even a museum classroom where you can learn to be a master beekeeper. If I look at a tiny little creature, so small, six legs, that can make a grown man cry with a little sting, but then when she can bring in nectar that we can harvest. In Wilts County, busy as a bee with one of Roy's folks. She only will bring in one twelfth of a teaspoon of honey in her life. Chad Tucker, one twelfth. Fox 8 News. I bought three hives, fell in love, got in my bloodstream, and it's never left.